All right, we're gonna look at this problem from finance. And we have a situation where we're looking at the annual salary of a newscaster. It says that they earn $27,800 annually. And they want to invest 10% of that to save for retirement. So 10% of that 27,800, you find that by taking 0 0.10 times 27,800, which really is just moving the decimal point over, and you would get 2,780, because it's really dividing by 10. Um, and so we have that much money yearly or annually. And so then monthly, we could take this amount and divide that by 12 to get monthly, he wants uh, basically to deposit $231 um, and it's 0.666666 forever. So we'll round it to the nearest penny. So it'll be 67 cents. So this is gonna be the amount monthly that he's gonna be able to deposit. So it says that he wants to do this for 37 years and we are compounding monthly. So again, this is gonna be the payment amount and it is going to be savings that he's doing. So it's going to earn money uh, for every single one of these payments that he makes monthly. So we're going to use the formula P sub N to find out how much money he'll have after those 37 years. So he's making the payment 231.67. One plus our interest rate is 2.8%. So we'll write that as a decimal point 0 0.028. He's doing this um, monthly right their monthly payment so it's going to compound monthly and um, we're going to take this to the let's see it'll be 37 years times 12 that's how many payments and compounds that he's going to have uh, we're going to finish up the formula minus one and this is all over our interest rate 0 0.028 over 12. so when we put that into our calculator yeah i would again strongly recommend that you use Desmos. Um, I did approximate this, so if you did look at the answer key um, for this assessment, it might look slightly different because it's rounded, but I have that it should be about $180,158, and with rounding to the nearest penny, it should be 92 cents. And that would be, again, that future value of that amount of money that he has um, after those 37 years of savings. So hope that helped.